G'day folks, Rod from my water filter here today. And what we're gonna do is just simply connect up a bench top water filter to the kitchen tap spout, okay? Now, this is one of our most popular filters, being the Aragon and the Fluoride, but this could be a single system. It could be a twin, a triple. As long as it's a bench top water filter with a diverter, this is the process that we'll go through. So a lot of taps, when you get them, you simply screw the aerator off the end, okay? So we screw the spout aerator off the end, we put that to the side. Now these come in uh, both a male and a female. So this one here today is a female thread. So we're gonna need a male to go into it. A lot of time it's a male thread. So you've got a male thread sticking out of here and then the diverter will screw straight onto it. But because we've got two female threads today, what we're gonna use is this double male adapter that this comes with the water filter. We supply these with the water filters. So make sure it's got the rubber on the top and the little dots on the thread, that goes up. So you just gently get him and screw him straight up into the top of the tap spout. It's gotta be tight to seal, okay? Once we've done that, now we've got a male thread. Now we simply make sure we've got a black washer inside there as well, inside the diverter. And that diverter is going to screw straight onto the thread that we've already put in there, all right? So then we screw up our diverter. Now you do have to do them up tight because that's what pulls it together and seals it all up, okay? They're a great diverter. We have very little trouble with them, but you've got to tighten them up. Sometimes you might need to get a tool this is not the greatest tool, but you put him on and we're simply tightening him up until he's tight, okay? A, uh, a big pair of pliers or a uh, multi grip tool would be much better to, to achieve that. Do him up tight and then you're ready to go. We simply get here and the uh, diverter's normally pointed down, turn on the water and the water will just flow straight through the diverter like so, or else we can then lift up the uh, lever and the water will flow through your filter. Once you've connected it up like that and you're good to go, before you turn the water on, have a look at the flushing instructions, okay? Because if you've got a fluoride cartridge in your filter, you do need to remove the cartridges after it and flush it on its own. If it's any of our other filters, you can just turn it on and flush them all at once. But that's the process, how to connect your benchtop water filter. Very easy, thank you very much.